So a few months ago, I was celebrating a friend's birthday at one of her favorite dive bars where you walk in through a fridge. There's nothing cooler. <laughs> get it? <laughs> cool. There's nothing cooler than walking into the fridge. Go and just get some drinks. <laughs> and I was standing in line waiting to buy her a drink, just answering work emails, when this guy said, Hi there. Drafting from Australia. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, cool. Uh, I'm here for a friend's birthday. Nice, birthdays. I'm an engineer. What do you do? Oh, well, it's LA, so I'm an actress and comedian. <laughs> comedian? That's funny. Tell me something funny. Oh, well, I don't ask you to engineer on your off time, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Freeze frame on this gross invasion of personal space. Now at this point, you know, my natural inclination was to tell him that I had a boyfriend. Because guys at bars don't normally talk to you or touch you unless they're trying to hit on you. But then I was wondering, do I really need to be someone else's property for you to respect me? So what's your name? Uh, Anna. Oh, I love that name, Hannah. Uh, no, it's, it's Anna. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. <laughs> then he did it again. Now at this point, I knew that I wanted to tell him to stop, but I thought of all the different ways that I could approach it, right? I could be nice. You seem like a fine, decent person, but that makes me feel really uncomfortable, so please stop touching me. I could be mean. Get the fuck off me, you strange man! Stranger danger! Stranger! I could speak for women everywhere. I know you and other men are gonna hide behind the excuse of, oh what, we can't talk to people anymore? Conversation starters are evil now? What a bitch! But you know what? If your only intent is to get into my pants, then fuck you! Because if I were a dude, you wouldn't look at me twice. And you wouldn't demand that I pay attention to you. And you wouldn't put your clammy hands all over me without my permission. I am a human being, not a piece of meat for you to conquer while you're traveling abroad, you selfish Australian bastard. Or I could just speak for myself. Dislike, block. Instead, I did nothing. Because my drink was ready, and I grabbed it, and I escaped the situation. But not before he touched me. And look, I know not all guys are like this, okay? I've had plenty of conversations with dudes at parties or at bars where they're just looking to have a good time and not be creepy and weird. And I know that this kind of creepy stuff happens to guys too. Like, once at a meeting, my boyfriend was very clearly and uncomfortably hit on by a producer. I've been a big producer in Hollywood for a very long time now, and I notice a star as soon as I see one. I don't know why you're hanging around with her. <laughs> you can do everything yourself, you don't need her. I've known many stars in my life, and they all did whatever they needed to do in order to get to where they are. I'm talking A-list, B-list, C-list, all the lists, you name it. They're on it. It just takes one little act of charity. But this kind of entitlement, where someone feels like they're owed your body or your attention or your time, happens all too often. And I don't know what the best way to react is. You know, like how do you turn someone down? How, what's the best way to clarify that you're not interested? Because sometimes a person says, Hey, you want to get coffee sometime? And you want to be 100% clear and say, Yeah, sure, I'd love to catch up as friends. But their response will be, Fuck you! Why would you think I would want to be more than friends with you? You're fat and ugly and dumb and you hurt my ego because you rejected me and that is an idea that foreign to me. This is a very weird and complex issue, which I don't feel like I can accurately distill down to a few minutes, especially because it's something that I'm still going through myself. But if you have any experience with this or any advice, please let me know, because the next time someone feels entitled to my body, I just might react like this. I'm Anna Akana. Stay awesome, Gotham. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace's websites look professionally designed regardless of your skill level, and there's no coding required. Their tools are intuitive and easy to use. If you sign up for a year, you get a free domain. Go to squarespace.com slash Anna for a free trial. Squarespace, yeah!